Hey there everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a new update video for the Global Goods Transport Palette by 82 Studio. It's 7.06 megabytes to download. And these have had a significant update um, that has it vastly improved, although it's hard to improve something so awesome. Uh, but it also, as you can see, has solved the crashing problem that so much that has plagued me for all this time. So bravo, uh, David, for um, fixing this. It is now truly the most awesome, um, well, multi-use bag <laughs> ever. So uh, what is it? It's um, liquid and... Um, others. I mean, it will literally hold everything, I do believe, that you can have in the game. Now, first of all, let's see where you can get it. Now, you're going to find these under big bags, and there's two kinds. There's the global goods transport bag and the global liquids transport bag. Now, so look at the bottom there. We have a list starting with your grains and crops, and then it gets into things like grapes and eggs and wool and um, honey and everything and even furniture and yes nearly literally everything and as a matter of fact it also lists the uh, description list support for additional products uh, pallets with products from the grain mill plus uh, planty Plenty production, packing facility, uh, pallet and barrel production, uh, cardboard, paper and cardboard, donut production, grain mill. I mean, the list is extensive. Maple syrup, um, also pallet support, also bulk and in-game pallets, roasted coffee, um, mineral, almond, clean olives, leaves, compost, Pellet, melons, uh, just you name it. Um, this can do it. Uh, also, the liquids is just basically every liquid in the game. Now, having said that, uh, oh, there also is another style, shall we say, in a, on a, in a palette style. Now, they, they both work exactly the same. However, they, they also contain exactly the same. So $1,000, and you also have the capacity is 10000 10,000 liters? Yeah, 10,000 liters as the base. But you can bump that up to an unreal capacity of 200,000 liters for no extra charge. There is a color choice. Color choices on these for the frame. Like so. Um, so I'm trying to, going to... The update specifically says added auto load side and discharge side to prevent unintentional product transfers. So product swap when bags are close. Right. So we're going to demonstrate that. As you can see here, uh, I pulled up this beside this one to uh, take the uh, thumbnail and it has transferred into this already. So we have wheat and this one is not. Oh, because it's kind of, oh, that's odd. This one's showing. This one has nothing, nothing. Uh, this one, we have to jump in. So these pallets connect. So we have eight, 185,000 liters of wheat in this particular one. Now, let's get our help window on. There we go. Now, it's what's really another thing, if you don't know anything about these, another thing that's really neat is they connect with a front loader, skid steer, wheel loader, uh, let's see here. Uh, I can. I will read it right off the description. Telehandler, skid steer, front loader, or wheel loader without attachment. So you don't need anything. You just need the arm itself. So for a skid steer, just buy the skid steer, and it will hook directly to this. It can be hooked on any side. Whoops. Whoa. Stop. 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 What are you doing? There we go. So that side, you can drop it off. It's not a particular side. It will it will attach from anywhere at the end. I would suggest um, 
Well, it, it depends on what you want to do. Now, see, notice you have now on the top auto load and discharge side. Right. Oh, and we're also going to talk about the uh, 1.6 million liter trailer <laughs> that we have set up here. Notice my game isn't crashing. Wow. This is what I wanted to do the first time I seen this and uh, it kept the game kept crashing now no crashing issues not even not even uh jittery or anything it is solid 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 so here 200,000 here 200 so these are all 200,000 liter and i'm going to show you how to set that up in a minute but we're going to discuss a little bit more about how these work now let's uh, let's put that down for a minute and let's pick up the uh, the one that has the smaller one. This is the one that only has ten thousand liters. So if we go to uh, let's buy another one. Let's just buy one of these and we'll go over. We'll go over it too. So notice on the top of this, we have a discharge and an auto load. If we come up to this other bag, uh, the auto load side, that should, oh, well it is anyways, okay. Well, it seems like it's still very, uh, they wanna transfer very, uh, very much between each other. Uh, whether it's a dis discharge or auto load. However, let's go into here and let's uh, let's just drop this down and grab these eggs. Come on, grab the eggs. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, I bought the wrong eggs. Hold on. Pallets. <laughs> eggs can't be that heavy. That's ridiculous. Right, so since we're talking of eggs, let's grab some eggs that I can actually pick up. Where are they? Or anything for that matter. Oh my, okay, so tomatoes, fine, tomatoes. It's already, oh, whoa, 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 it's already picking them up. So. <laughs> This is the discharge side, see? So it's not picking it up over here, but if I swing it over to this side where the auto load side is, you can see now it is loading the tomatoes up. Now, what that means is you can set this beside a greenhouse or, or any factory that produces pallets. You put this uh, beside where those pallets spawn and it will automatically load into your container here, like so. Now, if I put it over here, is it going to, uh, is it gonna suck up these two? No, okay, so we're good there. It's not gonna load, it's not gonna load those without warning. <laughs> All right, so let's get rid of these tomatoes. And we're just gonna go put it beside. So all you need to do is, is it going to? Oh, it's already gone. So there, it'll unload even if you're holding it, it will unload. Now, throw this beside the eggs and they should be, uh, there we go. eggs loading in so right so how do you make a 1.6 million liter um it's throwing 1.4 because i have them strapped down the last one here on this thing doesn't strap down there's 200,000 liters in there as well so we have 1.6 million liters of wheat on this trailer 
can you imagine? Oops, lost one. 1.4. Uh, so you can imagine. Um, and it's very easy to fill. Uh, I just took a an auger wagon up next to it. You can't fill them from a silo. So just so you know, if you go underneath a silo, unless unless they are individually uh, held, like so. Now let's just pick this up. Uh, these drain. There's 200,000 liters, so it does not empty all that quickly. As you can see here, we're dumping out, so it's not it's not going all that quickly. However, if you drop it, it should still. Is it? Does it? If I let it go? No. Okay, so it has to be raised somehow. There we go. So it's... Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> Come on. There we go. So if you if you set it there, it's just gonna if you have to, you have to raise it for some of them. Yeah, it's gonna be off the ground a little bit. However, let's just run over here <clears throat> and let me show you at at one of the buy anything spots where because this is this is quite a this this is now turned into my favorite mod really. Um, <laughs> Because um, let's see, is it emptying? Yes, it's it's empty already. So let's just run this under one of the buy anything silos. And uh, since it's attached to this tractor, you can fill it uh, with all these things. At least from this one, you can um, all your normal stuff. You can buy grass, hay, straw, road, cake, butter, cheese, fabric, clothes, sugar, cereal, sunflower oil, lettuce, tomatoes, strawberries, planks, planks, and furniture. Uh, let's buy some furniture. There we go. We got 10,000 liters, a bag full of furniture. Oh... And there we go, we're selling the furniture. So literally anything it will uh, pick up. Now it, it might, you might need a little bit of um, finagling or whatever to figure out exactly, I don't, I'm not gonna spend a whole hour describing exactly how all this works. But one thing that um, is good to uh, know, I do believe if you orient, if you're gonna, build a trailer like this for crops. Uh, the auto load should be, well, you should orient them all pacing the same way. So the auto loads facing the back or the front so that it doesn't, you don't have to fill each one individually because as soon as you come up to one of them, <clears throat> especially at the back, <clears throat> they will fill to the front. So if you, <clears throat> you understand, so if you're filling here, you will fill in here, but they're going to transfer, keep transferring because it's an auto load thing and they'll transfer up to the front. So the front one will fill up and it'll fill up towards the back. So of course, if you point it the other way, have the auto load pointing to the front and the discharge pointing to the back, it'll fill from the front to the back. That's how, at least that's how it seemed like to me. Now let's try one last thing here and see if these were will unload as I come over top. And look at that. There we go. So we are unloading. Looks like at the front only. So this is going to take some time for this all to empty out, as you can see. But again, um, you can just let it sit there and let it go. Uh, will it unload if I unhook it? Oh yes, look at that. So you don't need to be attached to it. That's another extra bonus. Look at that. Um, wheat. 
So as you can see, it's unloading this one actually, which is odd. It's only unloading. So it's starting from the back and it's going out the front one. I wonder if it uh, if you unhook unhook them. Yeah, so it's 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 going to be something really interesting to play with. Uh, let's unstrap these. Let's uh, let's jump up here and uh, can can I pick this up? There we go. Yeah, you can put that on top of that one. There we go. <laughs> Uh, so it's, uh, she's all training to the front, as you can see. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, you can, you can drop that and leave it. Have another trailer set up and, well, I mean, that's, the possibilities are endless. I cannot possibly go through every single possible scenario, but hopefully this gives you some ideas. And yes, the crashing issue has been solved, as I said many, many times already. Um, wow, and uh, <clears throat> don't forget, the liquids work the same way. So slurry, I did. You should be if uh, if you were looking to that one's empty already. So slurry pits and so forth are they going to automatically load? No. However, you can. Uh, whoops, detaching. I don't want to detach. I want to attach. There we go. <clears throat> so the same is is uh, they work relatively same. You you'll be able to fill this up if it's attached to something like this, like a front loader. You'll be able to fill it with slurry or digestate or whatever that is from a factory. Uh, it won't auto load if you leave it there. It has to be attached. So there's a few quirks and quarks. To these but definitely the possibilities are actually very very much nearly endless now and I have I have yammered on clearly too long about this so I'm gonna leave it there this has been um, a wrap-up or somewhat my 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 attempt at an explanation of the update to the global goods transport palette which actually, uh, which there is actually four uh, pallets, two liquid and two, shall we say, solid pallets that actually, well, will load nearly every. I don't, I haven't found something it doesn't doesn't load yet. So let me say the possibilities are nearly endless. Um, Seven point oh six megabytes to download. The description is quite extensive on ModHub, so check it out. <clears throat> Um, thank you all for watching. I'm Louie Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.